the next two Hyrogs, one of which bears a javelin and a large flaming torch-like weapon. Uh, so he is very much a bearer of fire, and he has some sort of um, hide-like armor. The other Hyrog is wielding what appears to be some sort of two-handed axe made out of sharpened whalebone. Vicarn screams a battle cry. He uses an athletics check to leap out over the front of the canoe and the netting that it's caught on underneath the water. His 31 athletics is more than what he needs. He lands with a splash and he is going to make a pressing attack versus the Hyrog bearing the axe. He stabs out with his long spear. Unfortunately, a 12 is a miss. The priest is going to move some. It begins to gesture and uh, it recites some sort of strange chanting sound. And the water uh, in between Vicarin and Vedai wells up and uh, explodes in a crashing wave. This is an attack versus both of their fortitudes. 24 and 23 hit both of them. They both take 11 damage and get smashed down into the water prone. It is Vedai's turn. She stands up. She she is wearing magical acrobatic boots and that allows her to stand up uh, as a minor action. Um, Let's see. She is going to move since she doesn't really have much actions, she is going to go ahead and attack. She's going to do a twin strike, just unarmed. Her first attack against the Hyrog is a critical hit. The other is a 23. She um, executes a fearsome blow with her hand straight to the neck of the first Hyrog. It kind of chokes and screams, and there's a cracking sound, and it falls into the water. The other one, she kicks it straight into its chest. Again, you can hear the sound of bone kind of splintering in its puny little weak chest, and they both cry and fall with splashes into the uh, rolling waves of the coastline there. They are both uh, they are both taken out. Donjir. He uh, commands Awaka to make another Stalker's Strike. She channels the power of some jungle panther or jaguar. She attacks the marauder. This is a 21 versus fortitude. Her spectral claws rip into the high rog, dealing 14 damage, which is enough to kill it. Um, The spirit companion now, having hit with stalker's strike, is able to flank for a round. And let's see, he's actually going to have the spirit companion move it dashes across the beach, makes an athletics check to jump over this loose sand. It gets a 24, which allows it to jump four squares through the air, and it lands right there next to the uh, Hyrog Fire Warrior. Uh, the Fire Warrior begins its turn with the Spirit Companion right next to it, which it kind of looks at. The uh, Hyrog priest in the back is shouting and pointing at these Arkai. He wants the Arkai defeated. So the Fire Warrior is going to move up to Vedai. This provokes a uh, Spirit's Fangs, an opportunity attack from the Spirit Companion. Uh, it attacks 11 versus the Reflex is a miss. The Fire Warrior swipes his uh, flaming fire torch at Vedai. This attacks her reflex, but she dodges it. She is quite agile. The axe warrior moves up to Vicarn and begins attacking with a driving assault, swinging once and twice. He hits both times, dealing four damage and then dealing five damage. Each time he pushes uh, Vicarn back a square and he shifts even through these uh, through this coastal waters. And he just drives Vicarin back, chopping him twice with his uh, whalebone axe. Vicarin is bloodied. Vicarin stands, 
uh, he is quite angered. He attacks with a resurgent strike, thrusting his spear strongly towards the axe warrior. He rolls a 10, which is a miss once again. The Hyrog priest moves. He um, invokes a chant of fire and water. This is attacking Vedai, 25 versus her fortitude. Up from the, the water itself wells up around her and transmutes into fire, dealing five fire damage, and she catches on fire. Uh, it is Vedai's turn. She begins by taking five fire damage ongoing that uh, bloodies her. She noticed there's a strange effect. Even though she is uh, wet all over from being in the water, the fire is not doused in the least. There is some sort of strange effect going on between these two seemingly opposing elements. She um, sees a, a moment here and uses her, uh, her cunning instincts of battle. She shouts out to Donjir and Elvin in her Arkai uh, version of Elvin trying to get him to understand that she wants to flank with the spear companion. To Soleil, until the end! Donjir uh, gets a free insight check to try to understand what she is gesturing him to do. He gets a 16 insight and indeed understands. So Vedai is going to delay. Donjir, he moves, first of all. He just jumps down this ridge. He's not trained in acrobatics, however, because he's a Kashari, one of his racial features is feline landing. So he gets to d uh, negate the first d10 of falling damage whenever he, he falls or jumps down. He can do that as a free action. So he just kind of lands there. And he is going to move to behind this rock. And then he has the spirit companion uh, Awaka, reformed by this fire warrior, attacks with Stalker's Strike if he can hit. This will set up a flank for Vedai. A 11 versus Fortitude is a miss. He's not too happy that he missed. He is going to spend an action point and try that once again. Uh, Awaka again manifests the spirit of a jaguar into her feline form. Her attack is 22. It deals 13 damage to the Fire Warrior, and she is now able to start flanking. Uh, Vedai draws her Urgrash. It is a large, two-handed, double-ended weapon. One end is uh, an axe blade made out of sharpened obsidian or some other volcanic glass-like rock. And then the other end uh, forms into a spear tip. So it's a defensive weapon that can be uh, you can use both ends to strike with. It's a pretty fearsome weapon. She attacks with hit and run, attempting to do some skirmishing tactics here. Uh, she attacks with combat advantage. 10 plus 2 is a miss, but because she's hit and run, her first square of movement does not provoke an opportunity attack. So she nimbly dashes and uh, moves behind this rock over here. She makes a saving throw against the ongoing fire. She rolls an 18, but she's getting negative four. She is noticing that while she is standing in the water, the water itself is actually feeding the flame. So 18 minus four still is a success, however. The fire warrior moves to get over to Vedai. He does not want to let this Archai go. Again, there is a uh, Spirit's Fangs attack from the Spirit Companion. Awaka bites into the fire warrior, dealing 8 damage. It is now bloodied. 